When you think of 3D printing, cheap plastic toys might come to mind. But 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, has major impact across industries like aerospace, healthcare, robotics, and others. Today, crowdsourced engineering enables anyone with a 3D printer to create incredibly sophisticated devices in the comfort of their own home. This is an exciting opportunity and an emerging threat. With our mission to keep the nation safe and secure, PNNL is focused on three research areas related to additive manufacturing. We're honing methods to test samples produced by others, to verify quality, identify supply chain, and detect potential threats that can be delivered via printed items. When evaluating a 3D printed item, we look at its signature or pattern. We tease out how a part was printed, what the feedstock material was, and its intended use. Our methods provide insight to material performance, defects, or point to counterfeit parts that are not built as designed. Most commercial printers use plastic materials to build their creations one layer at a time. At PNNL, we develop custom feedstocks for very specific uses. The resulting pieces are more than just structural elements. They contain functional materials that help make the device work. By adding carbon nanotubes to polymers, we can make a plastic sensor electrically conductive. Adding porous nanomaterials allows the sensor to adsorb specific chemicals. We've even printed feedstock materials that have living cells. Biologically derived mixtures such as gelatin and sodium alginate can be printed at room temperature. This allows researchers to add living human cells to study cellular response to different compounds under varied growth conditions. We have a machine that uses a polymer, cured with ultraviolet light, to convert liquids into a solid form. And we're using high-performance plastic feedstocks that have high strength-to-weight performance compared to metals and can also resist degradation in harsh chemicals or other destructive environments. Our lab doesn't have million-dollar additive manufacturing machines, but pushing these inexpensive printers to do state-of-the-art things, that's our niche. We're adapting them to rival capabilities found in much more expensive systems, to produce very fine resolution objects, or to operate at higher or lower temperatures in order to accept custom materials and to expand them into innovative areas like bioprinting. We invite you to learn more about how we're discovering the art of the possible and pushing the boundaries of additive manufacturing so that we can harness its benefits safely and securely.